Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth, number seven. Step one, making a random button ID a global variable. So RNB button is going global. Make random button ID global means modifying the code to declare create it outside of any function and then setting its value inside the set board or function. Create a new variable on line one, variable random button ID, Switch to text mode, we're already there. Inside the set button function, delete the variable in front of a random button ID. So rather than recreating the variable, we set the valuable of the global one instead. Updated code should look like what is inside here. And we have a little hint of what to do. Testing it out. Unfortunately, there is not much to test here other than determine if your code still functions, which is the most important part. This is just a step that really doesn't change any functionality. If it works the same as it does before, hey, it's probably right, move on. If it's broken or doesn't run, double check the changes you made. Really then, not much to do here other than make our variable global. Well, what variable are we talking about first? The variable is random ID button, and that is down here. And remember, that's in our random box generator. So this is just determining which box we're going to. And right now, we have this set as our variable for the first time. And really what we're gonna do is just take away that variable. And while it is still random button ID, we are going to declare it outside of our function instead. Let's come to the top over here. Let's give us some space. Really should comment this out. This is going to be our call for game. This is our function for game. And up here, we're gonna make our global variable. So I'm just going to do a variable equal rand button id, semicolon. Now, this variable will go through whatever functions I create in the future. So the function for game, if I make another function, they can all call this random button ID. And this is gonna be very, very helpful in doing a couple things in the upcoming lesson. Looking back, that's all I really needed to do. I got rid of the variable down here in the actual function. I took it outside of it, created a global variable ran button. Let's just test it real quick. Correct one is button four, looks like it is, just one more, different color, different button, everything looks good. I think that's all we needed to do, so let's move on to step two, kids.